I can see the hair being cut. And it's still shaving all in that sweet spot. Can you see that? Let, let it focus. Goggles might make you look cool, but they're also part of proper safety attire. Hello YouTube and Cold Steel Nation. So today we have another test with the 4034 uh, Gurkha Kukri Plus by Cold Steel. And I just put a fresh edge on it. And uh, I'm going to do an antler chop test today. So this is a deer antler split that I got from a uh, local pet store. So you can see the split and I have duct taped it on a piece of magazine so that way I'm away from uh, you know, the edge as I'm chopping. And so I just put a fresh edge on this kukri and so I wanna prove that uh, with this piece of magazine paper. So magazine paper, ah, that was horrible. Okay, so good edge. And let's also look at some hair. Can you see that? Hang on, let me. I think you can see it. So it's uh, slicing paper just fine. It's cutting hair, or shaving hair, I should say. And so what I'm gonna do is a antler chop, and I'm gonna do it from uh, the style with a uh, Forged and Fire from the History Channel, Jay Nielsen. He takes a competitor's blades and he chops it seven times into a deer antler, and you can see that clip right now. Um, recently, Joe X had an extraordinary video where he tested a uh, 3V Tanto and he just went to town on that thing. It was very impressive. I'm not going to do that, but I do want to do a Fortune of Fire chop with this. All right, so let's go. Let me uh, focus. Don't move it. The Samai Trailmaster did not do that. Yeah, I can see it now. Now you can. It looks good. It looks good. Let's uh, get it off. This right here. Uh, I want you to come in. See that deer antler. I laid it in pretty heavy. Maybe not as heavy as uh, Jay Nielsen, uh, Nielsen uh, but I think I did pretty good. And um, actually got, also you can see some antler chips as well. So the edge looks good. Let's uh, give it a drop. And we get that sweet spot several times. Let's see where we're at. That's a pretty clean cut. I do have to be honest, it's not as clean as it was at first, but that is a very good result as far as the paper. What still is that again? 40, 34, and uh, some people doubted my other test. And so I uploaded the raw footage. I'm probably gonna upload edited footage and then raw footage as well, because people are gonna doubt this. All right, let's see what happens. I'm a little nervous. Let's see. I can see the hair being cut. And it's still shaving all in that sweet spot. Can you see that? Let, let it focus. It's hard to see on the, um, on your hat finger, but yeah, you can kind of see it. This weird lighting. Wow, I am super impressed by that result. Um, I, I just, I am really pleased with uh, how this 4034 has performed. Uh, I've chopped through a, a 17 inch log it's still shaved. I chopped several times, like 21 times with water buffalo horn. It's still shaved. I chopped through a small cedar tree, probably about the size of my, uh, in my forearm. 
It wasn't a very big uh, cedar tree, but it was a salt cedar tree. It still shaved. I hit it seven times on this antler. No edge deformation. I mean, you know, as far as like, you know, paper cutting, you could tell there's a little bit, uh, but there's no chips, no rolls. And then after the seven times on the sweet spot, I shaved on the sweet spot. So um, some people say, oh, you must work for cold steel. You must work for GSM. I don't. Uh, I find these sort of tests fun. I like to prove people wrong uh, when they go against something that I am seeing for myself. Uh, I have never claimed that 4034 is 3V. That, that's just a lie that has nothing to do with anything that I've said. Uh, and I'm hoping that person who's claimed that they will repent of that and uh, or I'm hoping they're uninformed they're exaggerating perhaps but that is a good result yeah it, it might be a little bit expensive um, but you can't get another 30 you can't get another 5 16 inch kukri that's good for salt water that's good for tropical environments it's good for high humidity and it be that tough and so I'm super impressed with the results of this 4034 Kukri. And um, again, your mileage may vary. Maybe your bias is keeping you from getting, the, maybe your wallet is keeping you from getting this, but it's not a horrible product. It's tough, it will hold an edge. It will resist uh, some watery, humid, salty environments. And I'm very pleased to be the owner of this Gurkha Kukri Plus. You have any comments, Austin? Yeah. Um... Of course, this was before YouTube, but uh, we saw a, uh, a Semi 3 Trimaster fail on a uh, Deer Bone. Uh, How many shops, Austin? One. One. <laughs> one shop. I literally it, went boom. And, it, and I looked at the edge, and there was a half dime, half nickel, uh, not just a dent, it was a chip. Yeah, I think I think it would have been good for uh, batoning, but not for bone. Yeah, and, and like this is abuse. Yeah, it's abuse. I mean, you know, like no one goes around chopping bone. Yeah. I mean, I, I guess maybe like a wet bone, maybe, and you know, maybe you're splitting, or in Texas you've got to have the deer head, so maybe there is a practical purpose. But this is antler. Yeah. Like, you, you don't go around chopping antler. Yeah. yeah. But my point is, we saw Sam I fail. We saw Carbon V fail. Um, and uh, this is. Been consistently performing with the big boys. But yeah. I want one. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I just bought another one, by the way, for uh, a lot cheaper than what I bought this one. So uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And, um, you know, if you can afford it, I highly recommend this 4034 Gurkha Cooper Plus from Cold Steel. Thank you for watching.